by a true pioneer of the science of sewage, Dr. Ellie Jameson. And right now, this world-class scientist is rather bizarrely fishing in sewage for a nanoscopic organism she calls a phage. So this is where the sewage first comes into. Oh, I've just got a bit of lump of stuff in there. Into the sewage works. This is where all the bacteria and the phages are. This is an enhanced photograph of a phage taken with a powerful electron microscope. It's an entity so small, it's measured in nanometers, a millionth of a millimeter. What is a phage? So it's a virus which only infects bacteria. So it can't kill any plants or animals, but it will kill the bacteria. Why do you want to work on phage? What, what use are they to us? Well, to us, so I'm interested in bacteriophages which kill superbugs. So the superbug that I'm interested in is Klebsiella, and that's becoming more of a problem in hospitals. So it's causing um, pneumonia infections, and it's causing urinary tract infections, which can go and cause uh, septic shock as well. Superbugs like Klebsiella and E. coli are bacteria resistant to antibiotics. But science has discovered that phages will act against them. How do they attack a bacterium? So, first of all, they, well, they've got uh, little receptors on the legs, so these bits which come down, like the lunar lander. So the bit which yeah. land on the moon first, the lunar right. lander is the legs which recognise the bacteria. Right. And when they stick to a protein that they recognise, they bind to that, and then they can inject their DNA or RNA inside that bacteria. Straight into the bacterium? Yeah. And that, that basically takes over the bacterium yeah. completely, and that will help us to treat infections that we currently aren't able to treat. Yeah, so especially in Klebsiella, there's a lot of Klebsiella which pick up antibiotic resistance, and there's some which are multi-drug resistant as well, so right. resistant to all the common antibiotics that we use. So by using bacteriophage, these will kill the bacteria, but also they'll help our existing antibiotics to work better. And so we can use them in combination with antibiotics to cure our patients. So instead of killing off everything in your guts, like when you have antibiotics, they will just target the thing which is causing the problem in you and leave Ellie. all the other bacteria intact. Science has known about the existence of bacteriophages and their therapeutic properties for decades, but the targeted hunt for them in sewage as an alternative to antibiotics is a relatively new approach. This is a, a churning mass of all sorts of bacteria and viruses and out of yeah. that soup you want to extract something that could be the next wonder drug. Yeah, that's what we're looking for in here. There could be loads of things in there that nobody's ever seen before that could kill the next bacteria which is going to cause problems. So it's really interesting to find out about these things and get as many as we can, the different ones that to help us help medicine and improve the future of medicine. Ellie's returning to her laboratory for now, where she'll clean up and analyse her sewage sample for phages. I'll catch up with her later to see if she's found any and if they're active against any superbugs.